This is HRW99P016. This is the two people on the uh, canoe. Ricardo, we've got a mass for him, and Carmelita, who is lighter but doesn't give her mass, are enjoying a Lake Merced dusk in a 35 kilogram canoe. When the canoe is at rest in the placid water, they exchange seats, which are three meters apart and symmetrically located with respect to the canoe's center. Ricardo notices that the canoe moved 35 centimeters relative to a submerged log during the exchange and calculates Carmelita's mass, which she has not told him. What is it? Okay, so let's see. I'm gonna get down the rel the the uh, pertinent information so I can go full screen. I know that the mass of Ricardo is 80 kilograms. I know I don't know what the mass of Carmelita is, so I'm gonna make that a question mark. I also know that the canoe. Oh, dang! I already used to see. Uh, the mass of the canoe, I'm using the last letter of canoe, is 35 kilograms. And let's see, when the switch happens, the canoe moves 35 centimeters. So I'm just going to write that down. Canoe moves 35 centimeters. Um, blah, 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 and they're three meters apart. Okay. Uh, three, yeah, three meters apart. Okay, I can remember that. All right, here we go. Let's full screen this. Oops, come on, full screen. There we go. Okay. All right, so before the switch happens, I've got a canoe. Let's say this is the canoe. Okay, mass of the canoe. Its center of mass is in the middle. I know that Ricardo. Do, do, do. Come on, Ricardo and Carmelita are symmetrically around the center of the canoe, and I know that they are three meters apart. So this must be this must be 1.5 meters, and this must be 1.5 meters for them to be three meters apart but it's symmetrically around the center of the canoe. Okay, um, somewhere there's a center of mass. Now, I'm gonna take, I'm just gonna think about this for a second. I know that Ricardo has more mass than Carmelita. If they were the same, the center of mass would be in the center of the canoe. But since Ricardo has a little bit more mass, the center of mass is probably over here somewhere. Okay, just estimating, it's somewhere on the left, okay. I'm going to go ahead and say that where the center of the canoe starts, I'm going to call that x equals zero. So what I really have here is Ricardo starting off at negative 1.5 meters and Carmelita starting off at positive 1.5 meters from, from zero. I don't know where the center of mass is, I just know it's somewhere over here on the negative side. Okay, now they're going to move. All right, I need zero to stay in the same place. I also need the center of mass to stay in the same place. Again, I don't actually know the x-coordinate of that, but I know it's in the same place. I didn't draw it that way, though, did I? Let's make that better. All right, me, okay, center of mass. The center of mass needs to stay in the same place because there were no forces acting from outside of this system. There were just people moving around inside the system, and that's it. Now. They switch places. Okay. They switch places. So now instead of, um, well, okay, wait, hang on. Let's think about this first. The canoes are going to move 35 centimeters. Alrighty. That means that the canoe's center of mass is going to move by 0.35 meters. Now the question is, does it move left or right? Well, since Ricardo and Carmelita are switching sides, I still need the center of mass to be a little closer to Ricardo's side or else it's not going to work out. The only if Ricardo is moving over there, that means the whole canoe has got to scoot to the left so that um the center of mass is still like scooched toward Ricardo's side. So the the canoe must have moved to the left. 
So I'm going to change this to the canoe, the center mass of the canoe. Remember, I'm using the last letter of canoe because Carmelita and canoe start with C. Anyways, um, it has moved 35 centimeters, which is 0.35 meters. Okay. Now, Carmelita is on this side. She still has to be 1.5 meters away from the center of the canoe because that's where their seats are. So she's not here, lined up where R used to be. She's actually there plus um, 35 centimeters so that this is still, this still needs to be 1.5 meters. And from here to Ricardo still needs to be 1.5 meters. <laughs> Mass of Ricardo. Merp. Okay. So their actual positions um, MC is at X equals, what is that? It's 1.5 plus 0.35, so that's negative 1.5. 5. Oh, I hope I'm doing that math in my head right. It's kind of late. I need to go to bed. Um, and Ricardo is at a position of, ooh, doo -doo -doo -doo. let's see, what is that? This, this is 1.5, and this is 0.35, so this must be 1 point, oh, let's see, what's 0.5 minus 0.35? That would be 15? Oh, I hope so. We'll find out. <laughs> I should just use a calculator. It's sitting right here next to my hand. Anyway. Okay. Now here's the thing. I know the center of mass is the same for both of these pictures. So if I do the equation for center of mass for the first one and the second one, they should be this they should equal the same number. Okay? So for instance, the center of mass of the first picture, um I've got three particles. So I've got Ricardo mass of Ricardo times the position of his center of mass was negative 1.5 meters plus I've got the mass of the canoe which is at zero so I get the mass of the canoe times its position at zero plus the mass of Carmelita times her position of her center of mass that's a five everything is over all of the masses put together. Okay, that should be equal to the center of mass of the second one, so I should be able to do the same equation but for the center of mass of the second picture. So this time I've got the mass of Carmelita at a position of negative 1.85 plus the mass of the canoe at its position of negative 0.35 plus the mass of Ricardo at its possession of 1.15 all over all the masses put together. Now this looks really horrible, but it's actually not that bad because immediately looking at this, I have this on the bottom of both sides of the equation, so they should actually just cancel out. So they're just gone. All I have to deal with is the top portion. And I just have a whole bunch of stuff that has um, like terms. In fact, there's only one thing I don't know here, which is MC. I can put numbers in for everything else. So like the mass of Ricardo is 80. Oh, wait, switch colors because that is a nasty color. Uh, it, it, let's go with this one, okay. Okay, the mass of Ricardo is 80 times negative 1.5 plus the mass of the, well this is zero, I'm just going to get rid of it. So the mass of Carmelita times 1.5 equals the mass of Carmelita times negative 1.85 plus the mass of the canoe was 35 times negative 0.35 plus the mass of Ricardo was 80 Okay, I've got a bunch of numbers with just these two things over here. So I'm going to go ahead and combine these two terms, and I'm going to get the mass of Carmelita um, 
times, I've got 1.5 over here, I've got negative 1.85 on the other side. To move this to the left, I'm going to have to add it. I am going to get a calculator out. Hang on. So 1.5 plus 1.85 is 3.35. Oops, 3.5. 3.5. Okay, I'm going to move everything else to the other side and just throw it all in my calculator because I'm running out of room here. So I move this over there and I'm going to add up all the numbers that are over here. I'm just going to stick it all in a calculator and on the right side what I get is mm, 199.75. And then I divide both sides by 3.35, and I get that the mass of Carmelita is uh, 59.6 kilograms. Let's go see if that is what we do get. Yep, 59.6 kilograms. So it did work, and apparently I did do that math right in my head. Yay!